What up? Day one of my official vacation. Got here late last night at like 1 a.m. So I didn't film anything. Just chilling here in San Diego. Show you some of the beach. This is where I grew up. Well, not right this spot, but about 15 minutes away. Yeah, it's pretty beautiful out here. Really excited to be chilling, not having uh, to look at a computer screen much. Although, I've always been someone who really like, I don't think of like Counter-Strike as like that crazy of work. It's just a lot of tournaments and a lot of plays, so sometimes it's nice to get downtime, but like, I'm always looking forward to getting back. I know any days you miss out on like practice competition, there's someone, one of your opponents is out there still practicing and not on vacation, so. You always got that feeling of like you want to be home and working hard, so. Still nice though, it's a good to re-energize. A little uh, time for me and it's gonna be fun. So I'm gonna take some more vlogs hanging around San Diego. Um, maybe show you guys my favorite burrito spot or something, even though I already went there last night late when I got in. Um, and then yeah, I'm gonna go to the zoo and go ice skating, so I'll take you guys more along with me. Haircut time. What do you guys think? Got the little line in here. What do you think, babe? Can we get a thumbs up in front of the camera? <laughs> the jellies? <laughs> hey, look, it's your kanji. That's a big one. You can't tell. Look at the seahorses. They're floating. And look, he's wrapped around the rope right here. Seahorses, um, the males give birth. <laughs> wow. They do. I'm not making that up. You didn't know that? No. The female like lays eggs into the male's belly. So he actually is the one that like keeps them in his belly and then gives birth to them. Alright, babe. Time for you to impregnate me. Chilling out on the balcony of the Birch Aquarium in San Diego. One of the most beautiful places in the world on both sides of the cliff. Um, just got done looking at some fish. Nothing too crazy. Most of the vacation has been pretty low key. Chilling with this lady, chilling with my family. And just kind of relaxing and enjoying. So I'm walking down these stairs in a place called Bird Rock, which is at the end of Pacific Beach. Pretty like, secluded over here, as you can tell, there's not much. It's just beautiful, you know. I was reading some of my Twitter comments today and I saw you know some people, or like, it was like commenting on my Snapchat or something where they were like, hey, shouldn't you be practicing? And I know a lot of those people may be joking. And it's not like I take it that much to heart. But I just want to let everyone know, like, you know, compared to traditional sports, the amount of Counter-Strike we play is more a lot of times than people would play that take off seasons for baseball and stuff. And granted, they might have much more professional regiments and strict regiments and focused practice when they do practice. That's besides my point, really. My point is, is you know, all the top teams are taking these breaks because, um, you know, doing this job is a lot of fun and competing is a blast. But it's like anything; when you do it all day, every day, sometimes you want to take a break. Now, if you said I had to go play matches tonight, I wouldn't care. Like I could go play. It's not like it's not like I'm just like, ah, oh, I'm so thankful to be off the computer. But it is nice to not be competing and have anything for a couple weeks that. You know, obviously right when we come back from break, we do have stuff to worry about. We have ECS, we have EPL starting online. So it's not like, you know, the break is helping us there. We got to get right back into it. You know, Stewie's been playing a lot of CS because he just decided to stay at home. But um, everyone else to get a nice break in. And I think it's necessary. You know, the Fanatic guy. I'm getting Snapchats from Freiburg over there eating fajitas in some tropical place. I don't know where he's at exactly. But just beautiful, beautiful times all around. And just look at this. It's not just vacation, but being by the water is such an awesome recharge for me. It's not like I couldn't do that on any normal day when we live in Southern California, but uh, yeah, I was just responding to that whole notion that, you know, you should always be playing. And, you know, obviously there is some, some of my component or opponents out there playing right now, and they are working hard to get better. So maybe they'll have a little edge on me and, you know, I'll try to get that back in the coming couple weeks if I, you know, put in work. So might even stream some extra hours just so I could play and figure it motivates me to play more when I stream because then I have to play at least a couple games extra on top of practicing all day. So probably see some streams in the coming weeks and then we got the Northern Arena land in Toronto at the end of the month. It's like August 30th or something, September 1st, something like that. Look all these birds dive bombing out there. Can you see them? This is the chair we call it down on the edge of Bird Rock. I just want to give you a quick insight to uh, where we hang out. So see all these little stone rocks? 
It's really cool. Are you doing a little she's stacking some rocks? Yeah. Yeah, everyone else puts stuff here. You can see there's a lot of cool little things. Little shells. There's also like stuff up there, like a little mini grill and some seats, like just cushions so you can put them down if it's hot. And then there's the tiki guy. And then, yeah, it's just a really good spot with an awesome view. Eat lunch and just chill. Grab a beer or something, bring it down here, a little cooler. So you can't get much more beautiful than this. I mean, you can, but you have to go to like the tropics in the Caribbean or something. But I don't know if I found a more beautiful city in the United States yet, except like if you're talking about like mountain ranges of like Montana or something like that. That's completely different than this, but I love it down here. Just wanted to show you guys one of my hidden spots in San Diego. Now it's not so hidden. If you come down here, come down to Bird Rock and treat it with respect, please, and try not to mess it up. This is my life right now. This is Torrey Pines in San Diego. Having a great old time. Hanging out with my lady, hanging out with my family, just doing some touring. These are called the Torrey Pines Trails. It's pretty beautiful. Breathtaking, one might say. Sometimes when you're up here, you can see whales off in the distance and dolphins. It's just been chilling the past couple of days. Haven't had much to do to vlogging. Except we went ice skating and I wanted to vlog that, so maybe we'll have to go again. Show my skills. And her, she's pretty good at ice skating, actually. I can zoom in and it's good at all. That's La Jolla over there, it's called. It's pretty beautiful. Our hotel was like right there. Orange roof. You see any Pokemon up here yet? I tried to really. They're up top when we were up at the top of the hill. So, yeah, guys, just enjoying life. It's nice to get away from the computer screen and not have uh, any obligations. Looking forward to getting back to my one hour daily stream schedule, so I'll probably be streaming one hour a day at least. Time to introduce you to Uncle Maddie. He's working on. Pretty badass book that I'm not gonna tell you guys much about right now, but I'll just let you know that it's pretty dope, and my alias happens to be a big part of it, and uh, it's got some pretty cool, like, crazy different factors to it related to gaming, related to the dream state, related to shamanism, shamanism, AI. Keep an eye out on my Facebook and Twitter. I'm gonna give a little shout out to it soon, and I'll probably explain more. Until then, you guys are in the dark. And we're in the light. Look how pretty it is right now where we're hanging. What's up, ladies? This is Mama and Truth and Jim Bino. Jim Bino. Oh. <laughs> he doesn't look. Mr. Gilbert. Mr. Gilbert. My dad's sailboat. A old school. Wave, Ma. Can't see. It's pretty dark, can't see much. Brother, his wife, and my girlfriend. So what we decided to do today is grab some burritos again and go chill on the beach. You might have seen it if you follow my Snapchat, which you should, Jay Gilberto, OH at the end, go follow. It's a little bit windy, you might not be able to hear me great. I'm on the beach right now, I need to get a little wind filter. Sitting here rocking with my Cloud9 Ray-Bans on, 
but um, we're eating a couple burritos. What's up, babe? Say hi. So this is what's called a California burrito, but I added a little twist. I threw beans in it. So what it has is avocado, cheese, beans, french fries, and carne asada. Carne asada. Alright? So that's if you want to order me a burrito ever at a tournament, this is what you order it. Carne asada. Look at this bird. Yo, get up out of here. I love your burrito. I see you, bird. Get out of here. This is my dream right here. Just chilling. We're the beach babe in a burrito on the beach. R.I.P. Harambe. He can smell his own butt. Slow zoom. So we have here the wolf monkey. Located in the rainforest of Central Africa. I'm not reading this information off a sign. Hey, no, little panda. That's their natural habitat. That's where they should live. <laughs> Is this a good look for us? Yeah. Okay, look at these hats, though. Are you trying to take a picture now? Yeah, I was going to snap. I feel like kind of serious, like a big deal. Like I should be talking about animals today. Crying Kate! <laughs> yes, buddy. Oh, yeah. Can you give me a oh, yeah. reaction on that? Yeah. Oh, cool. oh. <laughs> this is the Jay Gilbert Cave. He was like making oh, what? sound. Yeah. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Get it, buddy. <laughs> oh, One of the last nights is me and the babe. Look how pretty she is right now. We're in this black shirt. Uh, this is Pacific Beach where we had breakfast today. I love PB. There's all sorts of nice restaurants and stuff here. So, cheers. There it is. So on Sunday, we're uh, I'm heading back up to Team House. Truth, girlfriend is Truth is her name. Everyone's gonna be like, wait, Truth. Truth is heading back home Saturday, and um, I'm going back to Team House Sunday. Got practice, EPL and stuff starting. Thanks for tuning in and watching me on my vacation. Look forward to more normal vlogs now that I'm back home. And uh, yeah, I'll catch you guys online.